Hi everybody, I'm here at Diani Beach Campsite and I'm talking with Ronald Wanyuni. Did I say it right? That's, that's right. Oh, that's good for right. me. <laughs> Ronald used to be the manager of this family-run hotel um, owned by his uncle and about a year ago he decided that he would go into business for himself. So Ronald, I want you to tell me a little bit about your business, the business name, and uh, you have an office located here. What do you do? Um, my office, uh, my, first I will start with uh, my business name, which is Diani Express Adventure Safaris. Yep. And uh, I started uh, this year, Okay. on January, and now it's, um, it's the process of uh, finished developing uh, this uh, website. And uh, so far the business is catching up very well, since I can get uh, clients from uh, Diani campsite, and also from other hotels and friends because uh, we share this business normally it's, it's like um, a joint business you have to share with other companies if you have some clients and uh, you can just bring them all together then we give, uh, you send them to safari on different parts I have to say before coming here, I had never heard of Diani Beach. I'd heard of Mombasa, of course, and Nairobi. Diani Beach is located sort of a short ferry ride across from Mombasa, Mombasa and a little bit of a car trip. But um, can you tell me some of the things, well, we've been doing some great stuff here, but what kinds of uh, tourist attractions are here that are popular? Um, the main tourist attraction here is uh, we have Shimba, Shimba Hills, Nature, nature Reserve. And uh, we have a uh, uh, marine, marine parks that is located in uh, Wasini Island. I think it's, it's famous here. And we have uh, Kaya Kinondo, which is a sacred forest. And also we have um, Funzi Island, which normally people are taken there for mangrove tour. And uh, people do like, uh, they can do uh, 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 the river tour which is uh, good for bird watching and also if, if you you want you like to see now uh, uh, crocodiles it's very normally they are there on along the Ramisi river on Punzi island and also you can visit the village which is also good there it's very very secure it's very very well kept and uh, we have another place which is called Konko mosque where also it has a good attraction. It's also another creek which is flying from Tiwi, Tiwi, Pe Tiwi Beach. It's a Tiwi creek. Also we have this, you can do a mangrove tour there. And also we have beautiful bird, which is also good for bird watching and sunset. And Sunsets uh, are beautiful here, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Indian Ocean. Um, so hot. warm. Yeah, that's, yeah. <laughs> if you want to enjoy the swimming in salt water, which is um, Indian Ocean and we have a very good show here you can walk it's on a white sand beach and we have different types of beach here we have a mangrove beach and we have a white sand beach and we have also coral beach and mangrove beach is really good and from down here we have we are 100 meters from the beach and uh, from our left side you can go about uh, eight kilometers before before any getting any coral it's really white sand beach it's nice and, and it's uh, clean. Very clean. Which and is uh, lovely. And mostly when the uh, tourist gets there, the first thing, the people they meet, they meet the beach boys. They are down there, they are trying to survive also. They do different kind of businesses there. They have, they can sell you maybe safari as well. They can sell you like uh, souvenirs. And uh, sometimes you can, if you, maybe you, you also look for tourists for maybe to be friendship and uh, also they try to maybe they can they want to marry and most of the tourists sometimes come down <laughs> here or maybe they, for they fun. are looking for fun, they want to enjoy themselves. They always come down here to find the beach boys, they can meet the beach boys, they can also meet the people from the village and uh, we have a lot of things people are doing here. As a Kenyan, is this place uh, how is this place different from visiting Nairobi? Uh, the difference here between here and Nairobi, first is climate. The, the, the weather is different. Here it's very hot, and Nairobi is cold. And uh, 
the reason why it's warm here is uh, because of the ocean and Nairobi is uh, from upland, up country. It's mainly it's cold there and here it's very warm. And that's why most of the tourists like down here and uh, they can come and enjoy the, the ocean, swimming, snorkeling, snorkeling diving too, diving. deep. Yep. We have um, also fishing, we are using uh, speed boat fishing. And um, the, the, also the people here, are, of course it's dominated by Muslim and uh, the culture of Muslim is, is really uh, very religious and um, people, most, most of the people from Nairobi, they are Christian and... Uh, so different people, philosophy. Yeah, yeah. So do you think um, that if people want to create a tour, um, that, tell me about your business, how can you help people enjoy their best holiday? What do you do? Uh, what, normally what I do, I arrange some itineraries. I put uh, like a different is a nature walk. We have a nature walk here. We have a, like a Colobus Trust. The, for uh, the monkeys? Yeah, for monkeys. We have a uh, Kaya Forest where people can go and learn about uh, how people are living here and how people used to, to hide. Traditions. Yeah. Tradition, eh? yep. so it's good for history from our, our immigration, uh, migration uh, period. And uh, also we have uh, parks, which is nearby, like Shimba is 45 kilometers from here. And also we, have, we, can get, we can see elephants there, we can see giraffe, we can see buffaloes. We have also a, a waterfall, which is straight with falls there. We have a beautiful um, uh, lodge, which is Shimba Lodge. And As you uh, know, we walked downhill two kilometers. Yeah. Two kilometers back uphill. Yeah, it's really good also for the exercise. Yeah, for the good the exercise. It's very nice, yeah. If you live. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so if in your line of work, you are somebody who offers tour excursions here at the Diani Beach campsite. So if um, guests come here from this hotel or any other, can you arrange tours just for one or two people or does it always have to be a big group? Uh, our vans are mainly for nine people. Yes. And what we do is... Um, it's good for them to share because if you hire the bus and you want to use like two people, you have to meet all the cost for the bus. Yes. And it's very expensive for a tourist. Maybe for if you have to meet all the cost. What we do here is uh, we try to put them all together, and uh, mainly minimum you can take four people, which is uh, yes, it's good for sharing. And otherwise, we can get if we can pull some clients from different Oops. companies. We have uh, other companies and we can ask the other company to have two, two people there, one person there. We can put them all together and they can share their money. So what you do in your business is that you find out what your guests would like to do and then you source out the different trips that they can go exactly, on. Exactly, yeah, which is uh, also with the different groups with the same interest. If they're going Savo, maybe if they're going two-day Savo, you have to find other people who are going also two-day Savo and maybe they can share maybe uh, under one lodge. Some of them want to go camping. It doesn't matter because uh, now it's nearby because if they do want to do camping, they can do camping. And as well, you have lodges there, which is really close. So you have 14 years experience in this area. Exactly. And first year on your own and business is going well. Yeah. So if people want to swim with dolphins, go snorkeling, exactly. deep sea diving, exactly. go see elephants, yeah. go the Kaya, Kinondo, yeah. you're the man. Exactly. Thank you very much for talking to me, Ronald. Okay, you're welcome.